Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going, bud? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I see I see in my stead you have Sally Forth and created additional entertainment for the masses. You're just gonna be a pirate on I'm this sorry, episode? I, uh, this is not a pirate. That's a pirate. No, I the pirate is here. That's I a was, pirate. I was here. That's just like a British pirate. What the fuck? That's not a pirate. British pirates don't exist. Of course they do. No, they were just called colonizers. <laughs> <laughs> I know, no, I mean, technically, if you have a boat and a black flag, and you're gonna whoa, dude, whoa. Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, if you have that, then and you just steal something, you're a pirate. So anyone's a pirate mm-hmm. if you just if you just got the intent. You need a boat. Uh, Can you pirate on land? I think you could be a yeah, because they would get to land and they would do pirate uh, no, stuff. No, they would pillage. That's different than pirating. Oh yeah, that is that is that is a technicality. I they didn't would, think of the pillaging. Pillage, yeah. Well, well, just the pillaging. That was a hard. Yeah, I don't know. You why went I said hard that. art I and didn't do instantly that. demonetized. I didn't want to do that. You did well. I guess. <laughs> I said grapes. He did say grapes. Yeah. Uh, no, I've been watching. I just watched through the Lord of the Rings trilogy. You watched the whole thing. Yeah. It's not not the Hobbit, not those newer ones that suck balls. Yeah, <laughs> I heard the Hobbit was like all right. No, all of I'll tell you this. I tried to do that recently, uh-huh. uh huh, because every couple of years, or maybe like every year on and off, I'll watch all of Harry Potter again. Yeah, that's Incredible. that's a lot because Incredible. that's that's nine movies, something like that. Eight. Yeah, this is only three. However, they're 400 hours long. <laughs> they are three hours. And they're boring. No, 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 the no. Fir- bro, I don't know how that became such a big thing. Well, it didn't It didn't become a thing. It They filmed them all at the exact same time, and they're like, we're fucking putting these out, bitch. Really? Yeah, and they were just they just so happened to be great. Dude, that first movie, I watched it, I was like, this fucking sucks. I knew someone, I came across someone, but by, by the way, you were a big Legolas boy. Yeah, dude, they fucking talking yeah, about Yeah, but you were, rewatch those movies. You rewatch. All right, slow down. That, yo, my shoulder, I think, just came out. Yeah, well, you rewatch those movies. He's a little. He's a little twink. Legolas is a bit of a twink. Have there been Lord of the Rings porn parodies? There has to be, right? One hundred billion thousand percent. Because I remember back in the day, you were like all about Legolas. You were like, yeah, two swords, just so shite. Sh- uh, so he said. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, I now more. I connect with Gimli. Why is that? He's just smoking and drinking, and he's like, ah. Yeah, he's got you a know? big axe. You know, at one point, they're all running. Aragorn and Legolas are running, and they're like, yeah, yeah. And he's just running in the back, and he's like, I just got to breathe through this. And I'm like, that's fucking me, dog. Wait, he said that? Yeah, at one Damn, point. Damn, he's like doing yoga? Well, John Reese, it's funny. The actor that did Gimli, John Reese davies was like taller than everyone else in the movie. But, you know, Gimli's a little. A little How'd they do that? You know, a little. Cut his legs off. A little, nope. A little camera trickery. Same way that they made the fucking hobbits look like little babies, dude. Well, Elijah Wood's a little guy. Yeah, but not that little. I don't know. They make him legit. Like, if Gandalf is as tall as that door... Gandalf was a big old fuck. He was a big fuck, but not that big. Yeah. They made Elijah Wood, like, at the fucking doorknob, dude. And they had hairy feet. They did have hairy feet. I didn't like their feet. Do you know I know someone that their, their celebrity crush was Elijah Wood? What? What the fuck is that? Yo, dude? honestly, that's just incorrect. Just tell me you're into women. <laughs> just, just, just say that. Because he's a he he in that movie was very like curly hair, and he's like, oh. <laughs> you know. I don't know. I hate his feet. Not the typical heartthrob, I would say. No, not definitely not. Not even close. I would say of the movies, your boy Legolas. I want to know Bloom. Well, no, bro. The that, hottest guy in that movie is Aragorn. Really? Bro, this guy's smoky. And yeah. he's like dirty. Yeah, but all of his teeth have spaces in between them. <laughs> Still. But he was hot, though. He is, he is a good looking guy. But now, he's, he doesn't look so good. And he had light eyes. He's like, oh, Wait, in that movie, he's like, for Frodo. Or whatever fucking weird accent he has that I can't figure out. Yeah, it makes no sense. Yeah, first of all, his real name, Vigo. Kind of cool. Wait, he looks weird now. Yeah, uh, yeah. Go look at a picture of him now. He looks like every like your your drunk uncle at Thanksgiving who just says the R word. What's his? <laughs> Vigo Mortensen. Vigo Mortensen. Come on, that's a cool name. Oh, uh, this guy is he Russian? I think he no. He was born in New York City. Bro, this guy looks like He's from our backyard. This guy looks like he could be an evil. 
Russian. Oh, uh, probably. <laughs> he was, he's a good actor. He was in History of Violence. I don't know if you ever saw that. That was 5-11. Really good. good for him. Oh, I thought you said 9-11. I was going to say, no. um, <laughs> starting early, huh? Viggo Mortensen, 9-11. Yeah. Are you going to go? <laughs> um, yeah, Watertown, New York. That's crazy. Watertown? Where the fuck is that? That's a great question. <laughs> Where the fuck is Watertown? This town is so small. It, well, it's it's Watertown. Is it on the the water? It's kind of close. Where is this? This is like up there, dog. So it's, like, it's basically uh, like Buffalo. Yeah, but it's it's further up. So Why? It's, but it's right near Canada. Why do people live there? It's like above Syracuse. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Very Canadian like. Yeah, basically. Canadian adjacent. That must be his stupid accent because in the in the movie he has a dumb accent. Yeah, I don't know. You so you think he was hotter than Orlando Bloom? Yeah. Mm. Like I, I like a rugged man though. You do like rugged men, uh, but you also loved Legolas at the time. I did. I, I think he was the coolest. Let me ask you a serious question. Yeah. Uh, Gandalf, uh, the actor Ian McKellen. Yeah. So, so gay. Yeah, yeah. Is he in your list of? Gay men that you would like love to hang out with, like not love to hang out with, but like you'd go gay for. <laughs> well, you don't love to hang out with anybody, let alone <laughs> gay, straight, whatever. But, like you know, remember we had an episode where I said I was like, listen, if Elton John wooed me, I'd be like, what's up? Let's go on a date. Oh, dude, get on the piano and I'm <sighs> tear it apart. Yeah. If Ian McKellen was like, how are you? Oh, he did the voice. If he well, that's how he talks. Yeah, he does sound like you know. That. If he was like, I like when he wears turtlenecks. Does he wear turtlenecks a lot? He does. Oh, as Magneto. No, no, no. I just meant like as him, his gay self. Magneto too, though. Does he? I think he does. Oh, He's well. like, Charles. Yeah, he has a really nice he voice. He does, Charles. Yeah, it's a booming voice. He's so fucking awesome. He sounds like a, like a principal over the PA system. Bingo. If he were to come out and just be like, you show your ass. <laughs> it'd be like... It's, it's, get, like, Yo, it's Gandalf, go. bro. Go, it's didn't... Gandalf, dude. Yeah, I gotta show Gandalf you know? your, your stuff. Yeah, so I've been <laughs> my, my whole personality has been Lord of the Rings the last couple days. Movies suck. The the Two Towers is good. The they're all good. Also is like, no, they're all good. You know what I love? You the, know why? Because they don't have fucking you know what? They don't have people drinking like uh, 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 Arabica bean coffees in their fucking you know mornings okay, or something here, like that. Okay, here we go. How are you gonna talk to me about that when you have? Teas, yeah, that are like so fucking. Like, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. The other day he was here. I'm gonna here you go. No, fuck you. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. The other, don't you dare. The other day he was here and oh. he was on his computer and he looked up a, a brick of tea leaves and it was fifteen hundred dollars for tea leaves. Yeah, Joey, do you know why? Because it was a, a fucking aged puer from 1990, a 32, 33 year old tea, Joey. You're, you're you're just saying words that mean nothing. How would how do they mean nothing? This is what I'm saying. He's T bougie. You're yeah. T bougie. I'm not T bougie. You're T bougie. I'm not T bougie. You have a fifteen hundred dollar brick of no, leaves. No, I do not. I said I would like to one day, but I don't feel in any capacity, any any semblance of a feeling to spend that much money on tea. Joey, don't you fucking dare. You have a ten thousand dollar watch, you stupid bitch, <laughs> and you don't even wear it all the time. You can't even tell time. Fun fact about Joey, he failed his third grade test at telling time. It's true, he never learned. That's why he has a fucking clock out there that has no ticks on it. You never learned. <laughs> I can, I can no, tell time. No, you can't. Did I actually feel a test like that? Yes, you did. Third grade. Fuck your, fuck your head. I'm not, I'm not really good at it. You're I'm not. not. I know I you're not. So I can guy, do it, though. No. I for can a guy that can't tell time, you buy a $10,000 watch. Why would you do that? I can tell time. I can. Yeah? It just takes me a second. Oh, how long? Honestly. I got to, like, make sure. It's... Yeah, exactly. You need to use... You can't just look and go, oh, it's bingle o'clock. You have to look at it and go... <laughs> Where's the short? Is that one longer than this one? Listen, don't you dare come for my tea, you stupid bitch. I've never, no, I've never been a tea snob. You're tea bougie. No, I'm not. I like to, in, I like to indulge in something that is a very cheap, in reality, a very cheap luxury. All right. Tea? Yes. It's very cheap. You could yes. go to fucking big time money time like that for $1,500 tea cake. Big but time I don't money that. time. Yeah. <laughs> I think my most expensive tea was like. For like a hundred grams, like forty bucks, mm. because I'm not a little bougie bitch. Not yet. I don't want to be. I kind of want you to. Oh, I don't it's know. Like yo, I'm having this fucking three thousand dollar tea. No, nah, I wouldn't. How be. long would that brick last? 
Uh, 100 grams, uh, 5 grams an infusion, and you probably get, you know, like 15 infusions out of it. Oh, I don't, I just want an answer. Oh. I don't want, I don't <laughs> well, want, I gotta do some math here. I don't want you oh, to let me do how you're looking at a watch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to show work. No, I, honestly, you probably get like 200, 300 cups of tea out of it. Oh, wow. Yeah, so in theory, that's why I say it's a cheap luxury. Mm -hmm. 100 grams of tea, you do 5 grams an infusion, and you get... Let's say a low amount. Let's say 10, 10 infusions per five grams. 10 goes into 100, what, 20 times? Yeah, look at him. Look. Can't, you can't, can't fucking do it. I, 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 I'm I looking at you. I'm not listening to you. I know. Oh, you did that before too, by the way. <laughs> Full transparency. I said, he's like, what do you want to talk about today? I said something and then responded with, oh, it's probably a work. And he goes afterward, he goes, oh, that's pretty cool. Like a what? He goes, it looks here like it might be a work. And I was like, I just fucking said that. And Joey looks at me, deadpan, goes, I wasn't listening to you. Because <laughs> I am incapable of doing two things at once. I know. I fucking know. I can't read and listen. You're Joey. Listen. What's up? Yeah, I That's am. you. I hate that about myself. How you doing, though? <laughs> okay. Yeah? Hot start, babe. I was doing okay. A hot start. <laughs> also, you yeah, asked sort of bring up, I was on TikTok. What? And someone posted a clip of where you called me a street pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> you said that I would taste like a street pigeon. I lost it. Um, you probably would. Anyway, speaking of uh, bougie things <laughs> and money and whatever, Mr. Beast is in the uh, uh, he's in the yeah. news now uh, because he was cure he cured blindness for, for a thousand people. A thousand people. Yeah, which is good for you. There's multiple thousands of people though. Here's the thing. That's not enough. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the route you're taking with this one? People, um... Bro, people were pissed. Yeah, I know, it's insane. People were fucking angry. I, like, tweeted, I'm like, yo, you literally could cure blindness. And and people are like, you, you're exploiting these people. It's like, I'm giving them sight. Well, it goes back It goes back to, like, the, the conversation of, like, even when you're doing things that are selfless, they are selfish. You know, I remember having a conversation, like, during college once. Where someone was like, what's the most selfless thing you could do? And people were like, oh, donate to charity. Or like community service. And it was like, yeah, but are you getting fulfillment out of that? Mm -hmm. That's what these fucking people are arguing on the internet. They're it's like, so you're dumb. doing it for the views. You're doing it because you... Do it for both. Do yeah. it for both. There's a Guess what? Two things could be true. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up. Twelve things. Twelve, two things could be true at the exact same time. Right. You could be a good person and want to promote your own self. Yeah. That's okay. Who's, who cares? It's still cured blindness. Listen, I'll do you one better. People will only be like, yeah, you know what? This Mr. Beast guy, pretty stand-up guy, if he puts fucking cash in, like, that person's pocket. Yeah. That's the, in these selfless, selfish pricks on the internet. I can tell you from personal experience, uh, there was, like, during the pandemic, <clears throat> I donated a bunch of money to small businesses, and I... I that's, that's very noble of you. And... I built to me, didn't build, I paid the money. Yeah. People who actually do stuff built it. Um, two uh, water projects for these communities in Kenya, hundreds of people now have water because, yeah. because of that. Because of, because of us. <laughs> because of Frank. Yeah. Um, because of the patrons. Really? Uh, so Feel good about yourself. And um, I remember a couple of comments. One of them, which it wasn't the overwhelming majority at all, but it was just interest. It's interesting to think about that point of view of like, I did those things because I was able to do them because people needed help, and I, I enjoy doing it too. And I'm posting about it because I was doing it with the Patreon fund, so I was letting people know where their money was going. And people still feel the need to be like, "Why are you doing that in Kenya and not in Flint, Michigan?" Oh my God! And Dude. I was like, "I oh my don't God. know. I feel like you know, like I don't have an answer to that. I can't, you know, whatever." And then another comment was like, "Don't be fooled." This is all a tax write-off. He's doing this so that he could save money on his taxes. And I'm like, how is, like, yeah. what is happening? Here? I don't think people realize what tax write-offs really are. You still have to spend the money. You still have to spend the money. Yeah. Like, if, a tax, if, you, if something is hypothetically $1,000 and it's a tax write-off, it's not like you get $5,000 back or even $1,000 back. You just yeah. don't pay that much on taxes. Right, like, I, like, you... You would rather me give the money to the government and not to people in need? Like, I don't understand. Well, that's like, what oh, it he's, is. Oh, he's helping himself with the tax write-off. It's like, the, 
I'm either giving this to the government or away. But yeah. you would rather me do it like for the government. No, that's what that and that's weird. It is very, very weird. And and to a degree, I can see the argument because the people that drove me nuts. Do you remember? Oh. It started with Vine. The people that would go up, like have their camera out and go up to a homeless person and be like, "Here, here's McDonald's and new socks and a hundred dollars cash," and they'd like take a picture with them yeah, and shit like that. Shit that drives me a bit nuts because that is such a small scale. And like the reality is. Although, like, the sentiment behind what they're doing is positive, the actual execution is so fucking tone deaf. But with Mr. Beast, first of all, friend of the show, come on anytime you want, my boy. Yeah, Jamie, come in here, buddy. Uh, this guy is... All he tries to do in any of his videos is be as transparent as he can with the money that he has and just fucking throw it away. Yeah, like... And he's doing it now to, like, help people, but people are like, no, nah, man, fuck that guy. He should be doing it for, like, me. That's yeah. what it is. I don't even know if his company's profitable. <laughs> like, he's just he spent went, so much fucking money. He recently went on a podcast. I forgot which one, but he said, he's like, bro, I don't personally, from you, from these videos, I really don't make a lot of money. He said that he lost, like, $1.5 million on, like, the last, like, five videos he made or something like that. Yeah, because he throws it... Bro, he throws it all back into the world. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, this video had 30 million likes. Or views, I'm going to buy a fucking tank and a house in every video game known to man and give it to someone. And it's like, that's very expensive. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I think that, like, it, that's, it was just so funny. Like, <laughs> curing blindness is insane. Also, I thought it was interesting because this is another thing that, I mean, I didn't personally know. And I think this raises awareness of, like, I didn't know that half of the world's Blindness could be cured like that. I, That's what I, they said. I'll go one step further. I didn't know that half the world was blind. Half the world isn't blind, you idiot. I said oh half God. of the blindness. <laughs> Did you think half of the population on Earth just now was blind because I, I, I said that? A little bit, yeah. I did a little bit. Okay, bud. Uh, well, I mean, it makes sense. A lot of people wear glasses. That's, you know, kind of... That doesn't mean they're blind. So I, I think now that you're putting it in context, it's of the people that are blind, half, half of, of them, them can could fix be cured. it. Yes. Didn't know that. Yeah. So it's like a film over their eye and then it's like this surgery. It's 10 minutes. It's yeah, 10 minutes. And it's super accessible, right? Well, it's expensive. So like people who are blind, they don't, they well, don't Well, it's like expensive get it because, because big eyeball yeah. doesn't want us to do it. It's big pharma, big eyeball, big government. Big, they're all fucking, big, they want to keep us blind. Big glasses. How, you want us to be blind? How are you going to feed us our propaganda? You, you ever walk bitch? into a lens crafter's pictures of, of people in glasses all over the place? It's propaganda. They're promoting glasses and yeah. weakness. This is... That's the other thing. Bl gl glasses? So weak. Beta. Yeah, it's beta shit. Absolutely beta. You ever seen my boy Andrew Tate wearing glasses? No way, because he has fucking strong eyes that see for miles. Hold on. <laughs> I actually have a clip that I recorded on my phone. Of me? Or of Andrew Tate? I will pick you up with one hand by your titty. <laughs> body slam your ass. That, I, I will say, if I did see someone do that, that would be pretty impressive. Awesome. Um, but yeah, Tate, what are, we, what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about how glasses are for beta. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But and if I, you try to hide glasses with contact lenses, you are not a beta. You are an omega. You are lower on the totem pole. I thought omega was good. Oh, no, alpha and omega. What's omega? The last letter of the Greek alphabet. Oh, Oh, okay. Yeah. Alpha's the first. Well, because alpha is like the first, so people are like, whoa. Why would it? <laughs> and then beta is after them. Why wouldn't omega be like... Omega's they, a pretty rad sounding letter. But why wouldn't they just put it where the O usually is in our... Because O is Omicron. That's also pretty cool. Be careful. I'm going to get flagged again. Omer oh, yikes. Yeah. yeah. Take I don't want to talk about... Uh, yeah. Shut up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're dropping hard. Uh, I almost said a letter, but it's not true. Hard R's. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. <laughs> oh, earlier when I said that, yeah. Yeah, you said another word that, that sounds like. Hold on, that better not be clipped onto fucking <laughs> yeah, TikTok because that's, not the, that's not, the word. Word not the word. The word you're thinking of is not the word that's I said. That's not the word he said, I promise, I promise. And you know me. I'll, I'll, rewind the tape I'll, I'll, I'll give you a hundred examples of when Joey uses racist terminology, but not right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Beast, man, guy can't fucking catch a break. Yeah, you know, and he lives a rough life.
and we feel bad for him, and we think that he's the coolest dude ever. And if he wants to come in here and drop a couple bucks on us, man, uh, I wouldn't be upset. I will say upset. this, and dude, put me in like a fucking rabbit's cage or something. Like I'll, you know, a rabbit's cage, like a giant rabbit cage, and like you know, with a to, rabbit, with like a big rabbit. How you about know, this? Like make a cool video, Mr. Beast. You want to make a bunch of money? Put him in a cage with cockroaches. There you go. Don't. Not a cage. A box. Sealed box. No. Yeah, that'd be good. Hmm. That'd be pretty good. Don't. Uh, bro, have you ever, is it ever, do you ever notice any time you're on like Grubhub or DoorDash, you know, whatever those food apps are, Mr. Beast Burger is available everywhere. Weird, huh? Do you know how that operates? Nope. <laughs> I was always just very weird because I've seen one and it's at the American Dream Mall in the Meadowlands. And oh, a physical store. Yeah. Did you get it? No, I didn't. Is it good? I haven't had it. Oh, so how, wait, so how is it everywhere? Do, is it like some like sleeper cell shit? Like they are fucking, you know, they're, they're in fight club and they just like are all over the country. Yeah. They make them in the sewers. <laughs> wow. Uh, no, they, they, uh, I'm pretty sure you can order it and there's certain stores that they went to <clears throat> and they make it there, but they just package it differently. Like what store? Uh, like a place that makes burgers. Like McDonald's? Let's say hypothetically, it's not McDonald's, but like let's it say wouldn't be McDonald's. That, why would they do that? Because this is what I'm saying. Like, <clears throat> I think I've heard this, but I'm not 100 percent certain. Yeah, that's but the, it's like it's they the of, they the tell the them show. what ingredients or whatever to put on the burger, and then they go to the store and be like, when someone orders a Mr. Mr. Beast burger, they like just package it differently. So like in McDonald's, hypothetically, if this was happening, someone would order a Mr. Beast burger, they would make it with like at McDonald's with the shit that's supposed to be on it. Put it in the Mr. Beast packaging and send it out. But why would McDonald's do that? That's McDonald's is a. They massive would get a cut. It, it wouldn't be McDonald's because they don't need to do that. But like. But other why are places, they? You said that they. That's how they operate. Mr. Beast Burger. That's how they operate. I believe. Out of McDonald's. I'm gonna fucking murder. What? You. No, that's what you just said. Frankie, are you trying? You're uh, now. Oh, you're no, talking. what am I doing? You just said <clears throat> out of McDonald's. McDonald's will get the ingredients and did, package. Did you miss the part where I said hypothetically? Did you miss that? <laughs> no, it, you must have missed it. No, I guess I did. Yeah, hypothetically, it, it's not happening at McDonald's. Don't do this. Don't <laughs> make am me I repeat doing? myself. I'm asking a question. I don't, don't understand something. Don't make me repeat something. myself. It's not happening at McDonald's. Do you understand that? <laughs> yes. Okay. Hypothetically, made up. Imagine time. So Burger King. Hypothetically, imagine. Just imagine. What are those? Me imagining. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> imagine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Careful. Yeah, no. Um, Im imagine. Yeah, back here for imagine now. F fake. Pretend land. Yeah. <laughs> Not real. Not real. That they, that they would like just use the ingredients that they had there. At McDonald's. We're off McDonald's. <laughs> okay. Now we're at a different I'm store. So, I'm legitimately confused. I don't understand oh, this. Oh, you're so charming and confused. <laughs> Fuck you. You know what you're doing, and you're ruining me. That's what's happening. Okay. So whatever the random establishment that is not McDonald's for some reason. <clears throat> gets, they cut a deal with Mr. Beast Burger. McDonald's cut a deal with Mr. Beast? We're done. <laughs> I'm not talking about this anymore. You, I know that you understand what I'm saying, and now you're just fucking with me. No. Wendy's. I haven't had a Frosty in so long. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a big Frosty guy. And the people that dip their fucking fries in it, fuck you and the and your parents. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely have known to dip a fry in a Frosty. I don't like that. Why? It so, seems stupid. I think the last time I had Wendy's was in Utah. I had a Mormon Wendy's. Do they have, like, you can order one Wendy's burger and you get, like, eight? <laughs> <laughs> no. welcome, to U welcome to Wendy's in Utah yeah. <laughs> A single cheeseburger comes with 17 more Polygamy yeah. uh, No, it just comes How it comes Well, yeah. for the wives or You would hope Yeah. Um, we do have uh, some ads for today So let's get to that Do it uh, Are they also tied with McDonald's? There's a fight coming uh, This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp BetterHelp is online therapy uh, And you can... Start talking to a therapist in just under 48 hours. A very quick turnaround if you want to get into therapy. Uh, I think it's super helpful. I just had a therapy session this morning. I think it, you know, everyone should be in it, even if there's nothing particularly on your mind where you feel like you have to deal with something. It's good exercise for the mental, and I just recommend it to everyone. So, yeah, uh, go check out BetterHelp. Um, it's flexible, convenient, and it's affordable. Uh, way more affordable than in-person therapy, so... 
On top of being affordable, you can also save some money, 10% off your first month when you go to betterhelp.com slash basement yard. Again, that is betterhelp.com slash basement yard. Get 10% off your first month and uh, yeah, take charge of your mental health. Um, I promise it will be amazing. Um, and next here we have Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix uh, is the easy way to get clothes that fit you without having to endlessly scroll through options. All you have to do is go on their site, take a style quiz, uh, you know, you pick from places you usually shop at, um, and then they will start picking them. Oh, you also like do your price range and like what fit you wear, your height, your weight, so they know like, you know, uh, which clothes to get for you. And then they just start picking and they kind of curate a, uh, a box of like an outfit and like stuff and some accessories and, and whatnot, and they send it to you. Uh, they have sizes available from extra small to 3XL, um, over a thousand brands and styles that you know and love, and they'll just pick it out for you and then uh, yeah, you get it, it's great. Uh, right now, they're offering our listeners $20 off of their first, fi first fix at stitchfix.com slash basement. That is stitchfix.com slash basement for $20 off uh, today. Um, so go check them out. It's really cool. Take the quiz, see what you're into, and see which ones they pull. And you can get a cool little thing, you know? So go check them out, stitchfix.com slash basement. We can also go to patreon.com slash the basement yard. Ladies and gents, we tell you guys about this stuff all the time. I feel like I'm a broken record. I continue to repeat myself, but it's worth it, all right? Patreon.com slash the basement yard is the way to support us as individuals because guess what? We need all the help we can get because Joey's over here and he's ignoring me and he's talking about how certain movies are not good, but guess what? Patreon is going to help us, you know, feel better about ourselves. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. You sign up for that first tier. You get these weekly episodes a week in advance, all right? That second tier, oof, oof, you get those exclusive episodes. <laughs> Not do that, ever. <laughs> you get those exclusive episodes every single Friday morning where they're out of control. They're a little bit off the rails. Joey's just sitting there just spewing just hateful rhetoric, you know, what he loves to do. So go check it out, patreon.com slash the basement yard. We got some good stuff lined up to actually start, uh, 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 you know, for some goals and stuff, and... Um, uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty sweet, so check it out. Basement Yard on Patreon. What the fucking hell was that? <laughs> we all knew one kid that talked like that in elementary school or high school, right? Nope. I remember there was a kid I went to, uh, day camp with. His name was Robert, but couldn't say his R, so he was Wobbit. And, uh, what? <laughs> That's true, it's a, it's a real story. And, um, him and I played Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire together. During that summer of 2003, I believe. Uh, yeah, he was pretty cool. And then one day I was in Forest Hills with friends from middle school. And I saw him. I was like, holy shit. Wobbit. And he said, fuck you, Frankie. And that I'd never seen him ever again. Yeah. All of that, I was good without. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I wonder where he is today. I'm sure, he, I'm sure he's gotten speech therapy. Wabit? Robert, but he called himself Wabot. Wabot. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess. Are you better off for having known that now? Yeah, I feel like. Well, once you got into 2003, I was like, okay. Details. Well, it, was a, it was a good year. That was a great year. Um, I want to talk about dicks. Oh. <laughs> Yours or mine? Not either of us. Oh, man. Um, but someone, what was it? You told me before the show, someone got on Mount Everest, got their dick cut off? No. Um, I wish you listened to me. <laughs> In Prince Harry's new memoir. Oh, it was Prince Harry. Was Prin yeah, that, you don't listen. <laughs> you don't listen to me. Fucking hell. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Prince Harry wrote a memoir. It's called something like Snape or something. And <laughs> it's called, isn't it called like a Shave? Shave? <laughs> No, it's called like safe. You can't Prince. Hold on, hold on. What is it? I or is don't. It, it, it might be just Harry. I, I know it's one word. I'm gonna do you one more. Grace. Why would it be called Grace? I don't know. It's one of those words. I don't care what it's shave actually. was a bad guess. shave was a really bad guess, <laughs> especially in a book where he talks about saved. I don't know, Joey. He talks about his penis. He is dick. <laughs> His dick, take a, take a he, he went on a North Pole extra. Uh, his uh, dick? Yes. Oh, I completely missed that. Bro, all right. Oh, hold spare. on. Hold on. It's spare. It's called spare. spare. Who gives a fuck? Hold on. Shave. So, again, before, 
before the episode, I go, I run down Joey a list of things that I got for the episode. <laughs> and he sits there and types them. And I go, oh, and Prince Harry's memoir, he talks about how he went on an expedition in the North Pole and he got frostbite on the tip of his penis. Apparently, you only heard penis. <laughs> no, because you went. I actually I was like, which one of those do you like the most? Because I wasn't listening and I wanted you to say it back. And I said it again. No, you said Prince's penis. So I thought it was just some prince. I didn't know it was this guy. A pr still a big thing to talk about. There are not many princes in the world. Dude, there's probably thousands. I don't know about that there, Bob. Bro, there's like a prince of Egypt, a prince of... Uh... Yeah, there's 200 and something countries. So how many of them do you think have princes? However many were not. Mad. I'll I'll do you one better. Not thousands, Joe. <laughs> numbers. The numbers don't add up. In the world, how many princes? Yikes! You got Prince Henry, Prince William. I'm, I'm off for sure. We know. Well, we could have. We could have. The rule of numbers could have told us that. I think. This one says meet the world's. Oh no, other. I, I don't know, bro. It doesn't say. Wish there was a number. So, I hate when you got to read shit. I, I, or listen, apparently. <laughs> yeah. So he went on an expedition of the North Pole, and he got frostbite on the tip of his wanka. His, his, his willy. Prick. His little prick. His little willy. Damn, dude. So he, he had to chop off the tip of his wah? I assume so, right? And now he's married to Meghan Markle. She's got to deal with that? Bro, he's hideous as to, like, to start. Now to think hideous, he's got a just he's, he's disgusting got, chopped off penis. He's definitely got a, a, a chunk bitten out of his dick. Are the are the people of England going to be upset at us? Like we're not talking bad about the queen. Oh, he fucking put this information out. He's got a frostbitten cock. What you but, to well, do? I'm saying, listen, 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 listen. People get upset when you like, you know, like, oh hell, God save the queen. We're not. She's first of all, she's long gone. Second of all, not long gone. <laughs> short, she, she's short gone. Short gone. He's, Medium gone, maybe. He's, like, not cool with them anymore, right? So, like, are they nah. cool with us making fun of him? Yeah, yeah. They probably don't fuck with Harry. Bro. Like, you know, this guy betrayed the... Can I ask you a serious question? Coat of arms. Yeah. Have you ever... It, jokes aside, have you ever, ever, ever thought about, maybe in the fu in the past, present, or future, writing a book? Memoir. Yes. Yeah? Not a memoir. What would it be? It's worse if it's not a memoir, I have to say. If it's a, I think people want to know about you as an individual, but if you write one of these, like, get started in the digital space fucking books, I'm going to put a gun to my head. That's not, no, no. What, were, what, what have you thought about writing? I'm not going to say. Why? Because I don't want to say. Just give me a little, like, is it, like, about you or, like, about, like, something? It's not a about me oh fuck here we go all right tell me offline since you don't want to talk about it yes yeah, i mean it's just the point i'm getting at yeah. if you were to write a book at any point yeah would you put in there if something happened to make your dick look just like raw mate i probably would have left that out you would have left that part out right and also he so there's a thing that i like read it says harry's ears cheeks and penis got fro frostbitten Oh, he's still got two of those. His circumcised penis, he circed. Oh, is that a thing they do over there? Apparently. Oh. Um, but his ears and cheeks. So maybe it wasn't that bad of frostbite, because like the frostbite that like turns your skin just like completely black and well, like, that's it looks what, charred. That's what I assumed when frostbite, it's like it's gone. There's nothing you can do. There's maybe no there's levels back. to frostbite. Is there? I, I assume frostbite is like a pretty intense level to begin with. Was this guy just rolling around with fake ears and cheeks? How do you... Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry. Not going to look at that. Is it a frostbitten something? It's just everything, like feed and... Ugh. Don't look it up. Very cold. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Yeah. Um, there was a guy I saw on TikTok, and he had a black hand because it was... Fro oh, no, just his fingers. All his fingers were frostbitten. You, you, I assume you have to amputate those, right? He had it for a long time, and it was like hard, and he would like tap it on stuff. Stop. Yeah, yeah, and then but then he got an amputation. So is is Prince Harry doing that with his willy? His willy wonk. Well, he says ears and, and cheeks, and like you can see him, and he doesn't look like he has anything like. Well, I feel like there's better circulation of blood up here than there is down in your, you know, sergeant and generals. You know, that's where we're going. Um, I don't. I I mean, I don't know. What happens if you have a frostbitten tip and you get hard? Does it just fucking, like, just shatter? Yeah, it just turns to dust. Does it just, like, pop open? Oh, that'd be crazy. Probably just have to cut off the tip of the dick. No, you can't do that. 
What else would you do? Well, you have cool, to. That's the coolest part of the penis. Is it? The coolest part of a penis? The tip? Yeah, dude. What's Are, cooler than the tip? Some people like a shaft. No! Some shafts people, are way overrated, dude. That's what I tell myself. <laughs> the shaft is overrated. I think that people like the shaft. All right, let's go. There's, there's, let's say four components to a, a penis. There's and sh- the the area, you Balls. have the surrounding mons pubic area. We're gonna go regular. You have words. the tip, tip shaft, shaft, and the balls. The it's, coolest is the tip. What about the base? Where your fucking penis meets your body? Yeah. The fun's over at that point. Why do you want to look there? No, I. I it's the I most don't. unused part of a penis. Fair. Or Depends how. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> For some people, it's the most unused. Yeah. Um. So what do you what do you rank them? What's like the coolest? What's parts? the cool? I would say coolest is the tip, because that's, like that's like you know when you get to a party, like you're most excited to walk in the door. You know what I'm saying? Like you walk in and it's like wow, I'm here. Also, if if you are circumcised, then it probably is like a little ribbed, because it's like. You know what I mean? Huh? Like a tip, like a mushroom. Oh, actually, never mind. You could pull back a. Oh yeah, by the way, circumcised wieners, so 1998, get them out of here. Uncircumcised, that's what I mean to say. Get them out of here. Oh, well, Europe's not going to like you said that. Yeah, Europe, your penises suck. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Disgusting. If you had a son, you would... Well, I do, bitch. I'm talking about a baby. You would be like, cut that cock. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it has to go. I feel I wouldn't want to give him a, a lifelong, a lifetime of fucking ridicule. Just have a disgusting dick. I don't think that people feel that way. Are you? No, you're circumcised. I am. Yeah, we know that. Do we know anyone that's not? Yeah. Who? Throw it out there. First and last. Address. Social. I'm not going to do first and last. What? No, no, no. Oh, I know one. I know one for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, their, their life is miserable now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But uh, I don't know. I feel like in that moment, I'd be like, this is a weird decision to make right now. Really? To cut, like, cut his cock. Like, why? How would you do it? How would I what? Um, if you have a frostbitten tip. I mean, it's not what I want. I know, they have I, to know do I know. it's not what you want. You get the news. Listen, your tip is gone. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get rid of it. I don't know that I can afford to lose my tip, dude. No, yeah, that's... that's and that's you're a, not building a tip... On my sh- like no a new way. tip on my shaft. No way. That's not gonna work. I am out. all about prosthetic work. It is important. I love it. I'll never get a fake tip. This kid's a fan of prosthetic work. No, that? people. It, it makes. I people love feel it. Whole I again. Have, it's so amazing. I am a fan. <laughs> I am all in support. A loyal subscriber like, to the prosthetics. Yeah, but if it were if they were to come to me and be like, we can give you a prosthetic wing wong, I would say, just let me live alone, please. Oh, you would rather keep the frostbitten tip. I would no. I was asking a question that you interrupted. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> what was it? If I'm uh, I'm the doctor. Be a doctor. Hey Joe. What's this accent? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. All right. Hey Joey. No, that'd be too informal. Right? I'm Mr. Sanagato. Mr. You're okay. a doctor right. for God's okay. sake. All right, take it easy. Um, uh, Mr. Sanagato, I have some uh, unfortunate news for you. Uh, but the tip of your penis is completely frostbitten, uh, and we will have to amputate it. Now, you have a choice here in how you want it to be amputated, and we'll give you a few minutes to think about it, and we'll come back in 70 minutes for some reason, doctors do? Yeah, they take I'll forever. Be, I'll be right back. They're gone for two hours. Where are you going? You yeah. can stay. I'll just yeah. make up my mind o- now. Honestly, I'd well, rather Wait, you what stay. were the choices? Any choice. Frankie. L- like, would you, r- would you rather them do, like, the thing with, like, a pen top where they flick it off? Like they hold a thumb to it really tight, they flick it off. Or they just wrap cleaver. A around it. Oh, cleaver! Yeah, cleaver. My shit. I guess cleaver would be pretty rad. Clean. Pretty rad. I would or say. Or get like a sushi chef to like. Shah, 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 shah. Really? You ever see someone like on TikTok like cut an onion? I'm like, damn, that looks cool. Oh, I'm saying I want like the chefs that do like they cut like a 600 pound tuna with that giant knife. Yeah. And they just fucking slide through it. Just like put my dick in a tuna and slide through the tip just to get it. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, put your dick in a tuna. <laughs> Already dead, Joey. Come on, get your nine done. Put your dick it. in a dead tuna. <laughs> now we're on to something. Okay. Never heard of that kink. That is not something I'm aware of. Yeah. Dude, I had no idea that it was fucking... 
uh, you didn't Prince know Harry. it was Prince Harry. That is so fucking. Funny. It's kind of insane. And and listen, I'm all about expressing yourself. I'm a big fan of it. Some would say, along with prosthetics. <laughs> I'm a hu- I love expressing yourself. Big fan. I love prosthetics. Big fan of the prosthetic work. <laughs> I don't know if I would have put this information out there. Yeah, I probably would have held on to that one, Harry. If I'm the crown. In what? your book, Shave. Yeah. <laughs> spare. What does that mean? Better have a spare tip. <laughs> yeah, why is it called spare? Maybe he's been spared of a life in the crown and royalty. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's got to be tough, man. Can you imagine leaving, like, the the... Queen's royal what's it called oh, let me oh yes I can why because they live weird lives dude Do you they? have to walk in a certain path to like see the duke of whatever like mm. it's like weird there's a lot of rules you can't you can't turn your back on the queen yeah and then do you ever see the video you can't just like oh, I'm out of here you ever see the video it's like you can't turn your back on the queen and then it's Trump just walking ahead of her and people were like pissed at him yeah I mean, I mean obviously he doesn't I wouldn't know the fucking rules. I wouldn't know either yeah no but he knew <laughs> I don't care and I'll, I'll walk faster than this bitch. <laughs> Rules are gay. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, we do have two more sponsors for today. Oh, yes. Uh, sim- <laughs> we have Simply Safe. Keep your home safe with Simply Safe. Frankie's got it. You're damn right. And it keeps his home safe. He's got little monitors. Every time you open the door, there's like a beep because you can't have the kids running out into the street. You don't want that. Uh, you don't want that. Uh, and you don't want people breaking in. You ha- they have window monitors. It's all good. Uh, but Simply Safe Home uh, Security System. Uh, cutting edge security technology and powered 24 7 professional monitoring uh, in an emergency their professional agents will uh, they use fast protect technology to capture critical evidence and verify that the threat is real uh, so you get priority police dispatch uh, it saved a bunch of people uh, seeing that named it simply safe uh, editor's choice so it's very good people love it it's doing wonders. Uh, customize the perfect system for your home in just a few minutes at simplysafe.com slash basement. Uh, go today and claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off of your order with the interactive monitoring. That is simplysafe.com slash basement, spelled S-I-M-P-L-I-S-A-F-E dot com slash basement. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Um, and then lastly here, we have FitBod. You want the summer's kind of around the corner, folks. Okay, I know that we just got to February, uh, but it's it's going to be here before you know it. With FitBod, you can get in shape and start achieving your fitness goals. Um, and they're a great uh, platform to use um, because you just go on there, you go on their thing, you pick a fitness goal, select your equipment, um, and they will create a custom workout program for you. Um, you know. Whatever you want. You want to lose weight. You want to put on muscle. You want to do both of those things. You want to just tone down. You want to whatever. Uh, put on uh, mass. They will customize something for you, and it changes. It switches your exercise up uh, to avoid overtraining or burnouts. Uh, so it's really helpful. Uh, and a full year of FitBot is less than the cost of a single session with a personal trainer. So you'll get professional help from people. Um, you know, Whether you work out in a gym or weights in your living room or no weights, they will have something for you. Um, no matter what, and they have 1,400 HD demonstration videos. So if you don't know how to do a certain workout, someone's going to teach you how to do it. It's great. Uh, you can get 25% off your subscription or try the app for free at fitbod.me slash basement. That is F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash basement. Oh, shakalaka. That's very nice. Um, That's very, very nice, Joe. You're very good at that. Am I? Mm-hmm. Also, uh, another story that we had... Uh, that you told me about before and I was like oh we have to talk about that did you listen to this one I did a little bit um, but it was a, a 34 year old man mm. and he did something because he was just in the mood we've all been in the mood no we've all been in the mood well yes but the story is a 34 <clears throat> year old man shoved a banana in a condom and ate it as in what he described as a hormonal fit of rage now Hormonal, is was he just like horny? Does that mean horny? Horny. I thought that just meant like horny. Okay, but we've all been in the mood. I don't know if I've ever been a hormonal fit of rage. Yeah, like a horny rage. Think about like fuck. I'm fuck. I fuck me. I'm gonna fuck you. Yeah, that feels that feels like a lot. That's, that does right. I mean, there is some rage in sex. Like sometimes you get a little ragey. Really? Fuck yeah. 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 What was that? Uh, this was a punch, and I didn't mean to do I that. I didn't know it's more you, like this. Well, then do that. Then yeah. if that's what it is, 
Be, yeah, that's you know? that's nice. Well, you slap in the front? Slapping the front? I thought you were slapping the back. Of what? Like, wh- slap the back of it. Frankie, what are, what are you doing? <laughs> because because like, now- people slap, smack butts and stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know what you were doing because this is phallic and then you were... Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> shoving it. No, I'm just saying, like, people love to, like, smack, like, this is the I'll person... smack anything. Really? Yeah. Children. I meant on a woman. Oh, okay. Her, Children. Her face. Yeah, right in the face. <gasps> Not without her consent. Whoa. Some people like consent. And some people. <laughs> some people like um, that, I mean. All people like consent, Joey. Let's <laughs> be like very consent. clear about that. I yeah. didn't know if, because I was looking at this as the woman. I don't know if you were saying like you smack the face or you like go right for the butt. You opened your mouth again. <laughs> no, you opened your mouth, Frankie. <laughs> you literally opened your mouth. No, I did it. I, yes, did. My jaw was weird. Yeah, I like, yeah, it was. You ever do that to like un- unhinge your jaw? Just You're not like, going to trick me, buddy. You no, opened your mouth. No, I didn't. It's cool. <laughs> you know what? We, we can stop the episode. Just shove it in your mouth no, if you want to. No. I, it was a weird moment of like I was doing it and I would I was like, you know, like one of those. So I was like, oh, it was a coincidence. It was a coincidence. Got it. Yes. Okay. Well, this man in a hormonal fit of rage, uh, ate a banana, shoved it in a condom. I get that. Then ate it. <laughs> well, he wants to be safe, Frank. He doesn't want to get pregnant. I don't under. I think he wanted to be horny by it coming out. Yeah, maybe that was it. Like he was like trying to like. It's like this will feel awesome coming out of the back. Honestly, it would though. Frank, when you are take- we just are we <laughs> figuring something out about you, Joey? No, taking a big shit is awesome. For whom? Me. <laughs> I think you need to realize you might be the exception to the rule here, Joey. Wait, you when you take a huge fat dump. The moment I sit on the toilet, I am upset. <laughs> Until guess when? Hours later, nah, if we're dude. being honest. A big poop. You never been taking a poop and be like, I don't want to break this one. And you just try to make it as long as possible. Bro, what are you telling us right now? You never done that? No. Bro, people have done that. Yeah. Right? right? And guess what they've also done? Those same people. What? Had fucking big big boys with balls in the back. No, that's not what I'm saying because I don't like stuff or going in Or girls with ass. fingies too. Everyone I don't like li- things going in my ish hood. You, apparently you like the feeling of it coming out. So what's the difference of it going in and then coming out? Because of the intent. I'm saying taking a big shit feels so good. So you like... Taking a big shit feels you good. You like butt play only when it's you're controlling it and you're shitting. I like exiting shit. It feels good to shit. What the fuck is going on? I'm not saying... Sh- uh, Frankie... A, a big shit feels nice. A big dick doesn't. Not that I know. A, a, apparently, a, apparently, apparently nothing. Apparently you do. No. no. Because in a moment. Yes. You just said the break it off thing. Yeah, like if I'm taking if a shit. If you snapshot that moment. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Okay. I'm not going to hold on. If you snapshot that moment, what's the difference between a wiener coming out or fingers or dildo? Whatever. I don't care. Whatever your kink is, go for it. Right up there with prosthetic work. <laughs> I'm a fan of kinks. <laughs> kinks prosthetic work. <laughs> Snapshot that. Yeah. What's the difference between someone pulling something out of your butt and the poop falling out of your butt? Um, a dick attached to a man. Is it, a it could different. be. It could be a dildo. It could be a, a, a woman's fingers. I have no desire for that. But you like the feeling. Uh, no. You just said it. You just said you like the feeling of the chint escaping your dunge. <laughs> No, I said escaping, by the way. No, I said, yes, I did say when you take a big fat shit. At McDonald's. <laughs> that's comedy, that's, folks. That's, that's called what a callback. We call a callback, folks. Um, but uh, no, when you take a big shit and you're like, oh, God. It's, like a, it's like a big relief. Like, oh, thank God. It's nice. <sighs> but there are times where I'm taking a shit and it's just like, you know, it's like in the shape of my intestine because it's so perfectly what it's supposed to be. So I'm like, this feels like a long poop. So I will like try to like keep it going because I want to make it as long as possible. You know, I don't want to break it off with my butt. You have shown me some weird DMs that you've gotten and you've said to them, you basically in the, in the context of showing them to me, be like, these people are crazy. What are they? This, what was that? People take a look. What? What was that? I was just doing this. Yeah, what's that then? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, you're jerking off two guys into your mouth. Hey, you're projecting onto me because you are 
No, I That's fixed. You did. I fixed my jaw, oh, Joey. You fixed it. I fixed it. It was broken, and now no, you fixed it was it. one of those like, ugh, like. Okay. Um. You are a freak, is what we're finding <laughs> out. No, I don't want to get fucked in the ass, dude. Yeah, but you want you like the feeling of things exiting your butt. So what's the difference between Just you poop. and this guy? Just poop. What's the difference between you and this guy? This guy. What's wanted- the difference? I'll tell you this right now. Me saying that a shit feels nice is different than shoving a banana in a condom and consuming it. Yeah, how did he get it down there? Don't know. That's Maybe the question. Chewed it up. Maybe chewed it up. No, the picture looked like it was pretty. There was pictures. There was there. There was a picture that I saw at least. It was the actual banana. I believe so. It For, was a full banana, jo- yeah. unopened. Jo- unpeeled. Not, a, not a difficult concept to, to to grasp, Joey. Unpeeled banana. Yes. Where do you get the condom? Just eat the banana. Don't be such a prude. This thing doesn't look. Bro, that's. Wait, hold on. Can I? Bro, that looks like eight bananas mashed up. Uh, it might have been a couple bananas. Can I see that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> looks like a bag of shit. It does. It, well, bananas oxidize, you know, and they turn to gond. <laughs> <laughs> this is disgusting. He yeah, really no. tied it off. It looks like a pipe bomb. It does. It look- looks like a potato. Well, I think that was the intent. He wanted to blow up his ass. Well, he was going to blow it up with a bunch of potassium on it. Right? Oh, yeah. Well, no, the potassium wasn't getting to him. It's actually a, It's yeah. actually contained within the condom. Yeah. <laughs> you ever heard how people in, like, London say that? A condom. They say condom. condom. Oh, you went, did you bring a condom? You bring, a, you bring a, 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 what do they call it also? A jimmy. Why do they do that? Do they? Why do they call condoms jimmies? I don't know. I like that accent, though. I'm looking it up. Hold I on. like when other countries have, like, we weird words for stuff. condoms Jimmy's. There's probably a guy who like named Jimmy, who like used to sell them. It's a southern expression for anal sex. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> the Jimmy. I was giving her the Jimmy. Oh no. It's probably a guy Jimmy who like made it famous. A condom named after uh, such a little dick guy. Wait, what? There's multiple things here. Southern expression for anal sex under the pretense of effective birth control. Originally based off of prying open some ass. What the fuck? <laughs> Prying open some ass. This is what it says on Urban Dictionary, and they know their urban words, I guess. Their dictionary. Yeah. I never knew that. I mean, wait, it was also like a little dick man, Jimmy? Yeah. See, by, uh, you can see also other words. Uh, Jimmy penis. <laughs> Micro penis, Jimmy penis, broke dick. Broke dick. Yeah, that's what it says. Hmm. Would you ever have sex with a homeless person? Let's get the fuck out of here, Joe. No, but come I, on, what are you doing? I'm just saying. Would I? Yeah. No. Under a circumstance, though, you would. What's that circumstance? If it was a- end of the world. Yeah. No. 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 Why? You'd be just as dirty. Would I? So what's the difference then? Oh, but see, no, no. Now we're getting into technicalities. Yeah. If everyone's homeless, no one's homeless. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mm, technically, we're never homeless because the earth is our home. For now. True. It will blow could get up. To, could get to Mars. It, it, <laughs> it could be pretty hot. If we were going to, like, get on Mars, would you go? No. I can't believe you even took a breath. <laughs> My answer is fucking no so hard. Absolutely not. If they're like, oh, we're all going to die. We need to get to Mars. We'd be like, it was fun while it lasted. I'm going down with like, the this ship. This is way cooler. Yeah, there's water here. I've seen pictures of Mars, if they're real. Yeah, well. It's a simulation. The The sky is a screen. Uh, you know people <laughs> believe that, right? Yeah, and you know they're idiots, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, long, as we're, long as we're on the same page there, Joe. Also, if it is a screen, awesome. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Screens yeah. are cool. The only thing is like this. Like, I, like people are like, yo, the government's hiding this from us or whatever the fuck. And like, the, the, the Jews control the weather or whatever the fuck. Yeah. If we find that to be true. Okay. I'm okay with that. And also, I just need more sunny days. Yeah. Uh, no, but yes, but no, also. Because like you, you need to appreciate sunny days by having gloomy days. But okay, gloom it up. Like definitely give us rain. We need more water, whatever. But also, like, I would like it to be nice, sunny. Give me gloomy Mondays 
and Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays. No. <laughs> Let's not. I want Friday, Saturday, Sunday always to be beautiful weather. I think Tuesday you can make like a Wednesday make rainy. it nice. Wednesday's a nice day. It's hump day. You realize like, oh, the week's almost over. Ah. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday, non-negotiable. Sunny day. No, Saturday, I would take Saturday over Sunday. No way. Yeah, 100%. No, Saturday. All Sunday. of the way. Sunday. You Sunday has to be the sunny day, Frank. Why? Because it's the Lord's day? This is when you care about God, Joe. Who's bringing up Saturday. God? I'm saying I Saturday. wake up in the morning. Saturday. You don't like waking up in the morning on a Sunday when it's relaxing and you're just like, oh, I'm, I don't have any plans. I have nothing to do. And it's and the birds are chirping and the sun is out. It's on my face and no, it's No, because warm. you know what I believe on a Monday? You know what I think about on a Sunday? I think about, oh, tomorrow's Monday. It's back to work. I wake up. I wake Shut up. I wake up on a Saturday and I'm like, there's nothing. I can do whatever I want. And then I get to sleep. And then tomorrow I have a day where I have to worry about the following day. Frank, you have to live more in the present. You're already thinking about tomorrow. Think about today, baby. I'm thinking about today all the time. Apparently I'm living not. in the present all the time, Joey. You can't enjoy That's been a New Year's resolution for me, is making sure I'm living in the present and putting up on my phone and stuff less. Real. I'm always thinking. Really? Yes. How about, so Sunday morning when you wake up, think about Sunday. Don't think about Monday. Let me ask you something, Joe. Yes. Let me ask you something, Joe. What's one of your favorite songs of all time? What? Yeah, exactly. Sunday morning, rain is falling. That song, song works because on Sunday morning, the rain is falling. It just happened to be falling when he wrote yeah, that song. Yeah, but on that moment, that's what made that Sunday cozy. You want a cozy day where it's <clears> maybe <throat> a little, give me a thunderstorm Sunday. It's ba 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 ga doom And then you're just <laughs> inside being chilly and cozy and comfortable. Chilly? Now maybe it's like not cold? Chilly. Maybe not chilly, maybe not chilly, maybe not chilly. But like, it's just like storming outside. Beautiful. You wake up to the sound of Sunday morning, rain is falling. Sunday morning, rain is falling. Steal some cover shares and skin. I was, thank God you knew it because I didn't. I know that whole song. Keep going. I'm scared. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and baby, all I, I need. need. Darkness, she is all I see. Come and rest your, your balls with me. Your balls with me? Bones. Oh, I heard bones. Not your balls. <laughs> On a Sunday morning, and I never want to leave. Is that it? it close, yeah. Uh, got, Good uh, enough. I, I'm right there. Yeah. I'm right there. People know what we're talking about. I think they have an understanding, mm -hmm. and they are fine with it. Yeah. Um, Sunday, non-negotiable sunny, though. No. I, no. I want a Saturday sunny, too. Saturday sunny. Sunday, gloom. Monday, Tuesday, gloom. Why are you putting three glooms? Wednesday, sunny. Thursday, pop pop. Friday, Saturday, sun. There's not enough sun in that week. We need less sun. We don't. Yeah, we do. No. Yeah. Because apparently, according to big, big nursery rhyme, the sun is a man, a straight man. What? Mr. Sun. What's that? We need less big straight men in this world. What's Mr. Sun? Mr. Sun. Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. It's on all the time in my house. I don't know what that is. Is that like a famous song? You don't know that song. No. Is that like Old MacDonald, like that famous? Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the trees. These little children are asking you to please come out so they can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun. Are you kidding me? You really don't know this song? No. Is this something you knew like as a child too? Yes. Really? Every person on this on 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 this planet knows that song. My Besides, parents, my parents weren't a fan of the sun. Apparently, I don't know. Yeah, what did you guys listen to in your house? Classic rock. Okay, that's actually pretty my rad. My dad, yeah, just yeah. putting on like a your radio. dad. And, but your dad didn't listen to classic rock. He like stout. It, it was, was like, on though. Oh. Yeah. You know, my dad was having like an organism. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but yeah, he would have it on all the time. I remember Did I ever tell you the story? Uh, your turn. Go. <laughs> your I show. was talking. Your show. No, but <laughs> there was a, a a radio that he always had. And when he would do like construction or whatever, he would always have the radio. And uh, I don't know if I told this on the show one time, but dude, I laughed my ass off at this. He asked, he, I was like working with him. I was like, whatever. Just, we're like in the garage. And he goes, Joe, go get... Something like a wrench. Let's just say it was a wrench, right? He's like, Joe, go get the wrench. And I wasn't listening, similar to how I don't listen to you. And I walked over to the radio and I took the plug out of the wall and then out of the radio and walked over to him. 
and <laughs> put it out like and get, it was giving it to him and he just looked up at me and I went I don't know what you said but I know this is wrong <laughs> Dude, I laughed. I, I was like, what am I doing? Why I, would you? I have no of idea. all the things he could have He's asked like, for. Get the fucking wrench. <laughs> what are you doing? Of all the things he could have asked for. I pulled it out of the back of the thing and out of this and gave him a fucking wire. Well, that, that sounds about right. My dad somehow used to uh, stream a uh, radio station from Colombia called Olympica <laughs> over his phone and through the speakers. And they wouldn't play songs. They would start a songs and then talk over it and scream and then do like their like little like you know radio jingle. So they'd be like you know getting ready for a song and it'd be like and then out of nowhere you just hear whoa it's Olympica, <laughs> which was not as fun as your story. Still fun though and Hispanic, so better than yours. Yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> That's how that works. Folks. Yeah, exactly how it works. I was gonna say something about uh, before you interrupted me, and I have no memory of it now. Well, there it goes. Fuck, there yeah, it goes. Up, oh, watch it. We don't know. <laughs> we will never know. It's well, over now. Watch it. That's that's getting that's getting close to the tower. It's, it's coming real close. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Did you say that's getting real close to the tower? <laughs> Dude. That was fucking crazy. That was so fucked up. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. It reminds me of those. Way too many 9-11 jokes. Actually. We're from New York. We could do it. We could do it. We were affected. Yeah, we know people who died. We know. We saw it. Yeah. It reminds me of those TikToks where people are like, oh, nice outfit. 2001 called. Huh. They just hit this outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I, oh, yeah. Did I send you that video of the guy? No. Which one? It was a it was a TikTok like that, uh -huh. and it said POV making comedy content in 2001. And the guy's like, <laughs> this is the guy standing there, and he goes, "Do you ever think about how?" And then it cuts to him watching a TV and going, "What the fuck?" And then it cuts <laughs> He just goes, what the fuck? No! And then because, and I was like, oh my god. It's funny now, but it was so terrifying then. Yeah, yeah. We've 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 healed. Yeah. I mean, I was in fourth grade thinking anyone was gonna come into my house and kill me, so yeah. Traumatic. But that's all we have for today. <laughs> that's about it, folks. But uh, you know, we gonna dope. Um you can find me at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show uh, at the base me on TikTok and Instagram. Frank, where can I find you? That's enough. <laughs> F Alvarez eighty eighty five, the Frank Alvarez on everything. Go check it out right now, and then make sure you go check out the Patreon, patreon.com dot slash the yard. Check out the TikToks and everything. It's it's all so fucking good. So go check it out. Yes, and that is all. See you guys next time. Mm -hmm.